Welcome to Engineering Rebel. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a Leyden jar using these materials. So yeah, what are you waiting for? Let's get right into it. You'll need aluminum foil, salt, a plastic jar, somewhat like this one, electrical tape, a bent out paper clip, and a screw just like this one, and as well as a PVC pipe for charging the capacitor and a microfiber towel or a paper towel, whichever one of your choice. So you first wanna take your jar and put it on the aluminum foil just like this and make a little mark where the top of the body ends on your jar. Then you'll need to cut it out. Remember to not throw your aluminum foil away. You will need this for later and I'll explain why. You should be left with a simple strip of aluminum foil. So you wanna take your jar and put it on the aluminum foil and you wanna wrap the aluminum foil around it, just like this. Then you wanna wrap these rough edges with electrical tape. So. Make sure to do the same with the bottom. This should be what it looks like. Keep in mind, a Leyden jar has an isolator and two conductive sources. So your aluminum foil is one, and now we're going to put salty water in the inside of the jar as your second conductive source. You wanna fill it with water. Normal tap water is fine. Next, you wanna take your salt. Takes a while to come, but it eventually comes. When you put in your salt, make sure you mix it with a spoon or even the end of a scissor. Next, you wanna take your screw and screw it in the middle of the cap. It should look like this. You don't want to screw it all the way in, but you just want to screw it enough so the middle part can touch the salt water. You want to wrap your paper clip around this screw. Then you just screw it in. So I took our scrap piece of aluminum. I split it in half. One half I crumpled up. The other half, I'm just going to wrap it around this ball. It should look like this. Now you want to take this part, stick it on top of the screw, and kind of like lock it in place. It should look kind of like this, and then you want to add electrical tape. Don't be afraid to add more. And ta-da, here it is. So I recommend getting an aux jack, just like this one putting it on the aluminum foil and taping it to hold it in place, just like this. You wanna make sure the tip of the ox jack is touching the aluminum foil. So you wanna take a paper towel, just like this one, fold it in half. Now you're gonna take your PVC pipe and you're gonna rub it back and forth. You're gonna take your PVC pipe, rub it back and forth, and you wanna bring it as close to the tip as possible. Now you take your tip of your ox jack and I'm gonna touch it. Let's try it one more time. Now if you look, I'm gonna take my little prong and I'm gonna bring it close. Now you saw the sparks, right? Now if I take my finger and I touch it, you can see it doesn't shock me because when I take the prong and I put it on the aluminum foil, it discharges it. It shocks it and it takes all the electrons away. So I pretty much discharge it. That's why I can take my finger and it won't shock me because I just discharged it. Click over here to subscribe and click over here to see my other videos.